So, what is going on, everybody? As you see, I am sitting here, same clothes as the previous video, because it's another one of those days where I'm unboxing multiple shoes just to clear out the backlog that you can't see right now. So, this right here, 350 box, and uh, had this been some time ago, you may have looked at this box and been like, oh, like, I know exactly what shoe that is. But, because of the way things have been going lately and so many of these have come out, it's, uh, you might look at it and just say, like, okay, well, hmm, it could be this, could be that, based on, like, the timing and everything. But, um, I'll just tell you right now, it's the semi-frozen yellow Yeezy 350, Yeezy Boost 350 V2. I'm never exactly sure what the name is, but I think I got it right. We'll just say I did. Anyway, this right here was, like, the Yeezy that I wanted. Was it last year? Whenever they first came out. I wanted this one. A lot of people were like, oh, it's not looking too good. It's kind of ugly. But it sold out because it was limited. There's that whole thing. And now they brought them back. There was enough for everybody to get them. And so now nobody wants them because they're just trash and, you know, the whole boost is dead or Yeezys are dead. Everything's dead because it's not selling out. So if you can get something, I guess that's that's how you know that nobody wants it. No, no, it's weird. It's weird. So, but as for me, I just kind of go with the things that I like. And these, I wanted them from day one. Wasn't paying resale. Not at all. Didn't even consider it. But now, I was able to get them. And there are, uh, there is another pair in the collection that's back at mom's house. Because it's rare, but every so often I will do the double up. And this was one of those times. So, this, yeah, I... I can't sell, I wouldn't even try to sell anybody on why this is my favorite shoe or why I think it's amazing or anything like that. And if you watch other videos, you'll see some people like the Seth Fowlers on this side, they'll say, oh, well, let me explain to you why this is the ugliest, most well-known shoe out there in the world right now. And then you have people on the other side that look at it with, man, this, look at this color, look at this, look at that, blah, 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 it's so great. I am closer to that side. I mean, maybe all the way on that side but definitely happy to have this one in the collection i wanted it for a long time when i won the raffle i was like all right a secure pair awesome then i was able to get one online so i was like perfect i am going to have two why not and so here they are and i gotta say looking at them in person they look exactly as i expected them to and I, which in a way is as ugly as they looked online, but I really just like these crazy colors that they have on here. It's, I don't know, that's just me. It just, it just works for me. I mean, I, the, the gum bottom, big fan of that too, you know? So I am, the, the thing I tell myself is I'm going to wear one of these into the ground and have a nice fresh pair for one day when it makes sense to break out a fresh pair, but we'll see what happens. So these fit wise, right? Sizing is always important. So I go with a nine and a half in these as I go with on all my other boost shoes, whether it be the Anikis or 5923s, the uh, couple pairs of NMDs I have, the Ultra Boost, caged or uncaged, whatever. I, I go with the nine and a half, you know, just a half size up from my normal Nike size. And these, a lot of people would say, you know, go up a whole size maybe. I did that once on the blue tints. It wasn't completely necessary. Because over time, the fabric does loosen up if you wear them regularly. I mean, if you throw them on every several months, you, you're probably just going to feel a very snug fit that you are not a, you may not be a huge fan of. Also depends on what kind of socks you wear and all that stuff, sure. Now, at the end of the day, you can, if they are a little too too snug for you. In the past, it would have been suggested to just check out the insole, but nowadays that you can mostly just buy a pair after <laughs> after trying it on, maybe, maybe you don't have to worry about that anymore. But if you're ordering online and you're not so sure, and you hear about the whole sizing up thing, I would say, me, Tristan Stewart, would say, go with the normal size, buy that, 
and just wear them enough that they break in. I mean, I feel like you shouldn't have to say that, but that's the reality of the situation. It just takes a little while. But overall, back to the, as far as the unboxing, the shoe and all that, my thoughts, I am a big fan of this shoe. Like, you don't even know. I mean, maybe you, maybe you can tell in my voice, I don't know. But this, this one, Definitely glad to have it in the collection. Definitely. And I'm looking forward to wearing this a whole heck of a lot. All right, so uh, if you, I know I said before, like I'm not, I don't really care if you click the likes or not, but um, I, I do feel like if you comment or something, I will do my best to get back to you. And given that nobody is probably seeing most of these videos or will for like a long time, I should be able to get back to anybody who says anything. And that's that's where the uh, the fun comes in, I guess you could say, because it's nice to talk to people about similar interests and whatnot. The likes are cool, but I don't know, maybe, maybe for promotion there's that, but I, I think I'd rather the conversation if I had to really choose one or the other. Anywho, this right here, Easy Boost 350 V2. Semi-frozen yellow. I like it. I bought two. You could probably go buy a pair right now because uh, they did not sell very well. All right. So thank you guys for checking out the video. Maybe you comment below. Maybe you don't. We'll see what happens. But either way, I will see you around again. Hopefully, if not, thanks for coming by anyway. All right. Have a good one.